Hey everyone, it's uh, Steel from the S Forms. Uh, just a quick video on this golden motor. Uh, I just opened it up just to have a look at the inside. There you go. So I just wanted to uh, kind of explain how this motor works. Uh, you know, some people have used it and said that, you know, I guess it's not as efficient as some other motors out there, but I, don't know, I think it's alright for what it is. Um, just kind of explain so there's like a center axle here and uh, you'll see like a uh, metal disc kind of there which has the magnets glued to it I'll see if I can show you you'll be able to see a little bit so the magnets are glued to that steel rotor and obviously this stays center with the bearing and uh, I guess this is the uh, stator and uh, you got your coils running through there quite a bit of coal I mean I don't know what gauge that is probably like I don't know 20 gauge maybe I'm not sure how many wires in there maybe about 20 wires or so at least and uh, yeah so I mean the wire the windings look pretty nice and it runs to a nice 8 gauge wire which comes out there um, and then the cooling, so there's a lot of, not a lot of, but for the people that have had this motor said that it cools poorly, but I think this one doesn't cool that bad at all. So this flat plate um, is supported to the water cooling cover, which is right here. So this cover here acts as two things. So first of all, it cools the motor, because this, this has thermal paste and it cools directly to here. And the water runs through it, and there's the water clean jackets, of course. Uh, so that stays nice and nice cold when it's uh, going to be running on my boat motor. Um, and these four holes here. So this plate, not only does it cool the motor, but it also aligns the stator. So it's perfectly uh, center and straight, and uh, it's also the correct distance from the magnets. So it actually pulls out the whole stator, like maybe less than a quarter inch. Um, and this this whole center part is locked in with a lock ring on the other side so it can't come out or move so it stays perfectly positioned and uh, the magnets grab against the stator um, so these screw holes have to be the perfect distance as well uh, just so that it doesn't bottom out because it'll bottom out if you, they're too long so let's say you want to mount something to the back of this you gotta make sure that they're, the screw holes stay nice and tight the screws stay nice and tight this is what it comes with here. So I'm not sure how long that is. I'd say about uh, maybe an inch and a half. And that's pretty much it. So overall, I think it's a good design for what it is. Um, and I think it's going to cool very well. Some people have said it's not. I think this will cool much better than the 10 kilowatt version. Just because of the fact that you know this coils directly to this cover whereas in the tele the 10 kilowatt I'm pretty sure it's two coils again to the same p one plate so uh, it's gonna probably well it's gonna generate more heat because it's gonna pull more current but it, this motor does cool better in my opinion so that's my quick overview of it um, that's my adapter for my so I can't really turn this but I welded it all and that's what I'm gonna be using to turn the um, the bottom end of my boat motor 716 shaft with a 716 coupler and then this is welded as straight as I can get it onto here uh, very limited on space just the way I designed it to mount to my boat motor um, that's pretty much it all right thanks for watching bye